Hi, this is a Satrosa pinching video on how to make your mosquito fighter a bushier plant. Left to grow naturally, this thing will just grow a leaf, a leaf, and then a stem, and a leaf, and a stem, and a leaf. So it'll be very, very spindly and very stringy looking. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pinching out the head so that it'll become a bushier plant like this one. This, this one needs a little bit more pinching, but it is becoming pretty full as you can see. And it started out like this. I took the cutting and this is how it started out. And this is another one that's a little bit farther behind. But essentially, it will become very bushy. You can get as bushy as you want to achieve this. You just keep pinching out heads. But first, we have to make sure we have some roots. As you can see, there are some roots here. If you can see roots, it is ready to go. If you don't see roots, not ready to be pinched. Because if you pinch it with no roots, it probably will die on you, but that's okay. We can always try again, I'm sure, but let's try not to have that mistake. Anyways, you can use your fingers to pinch, you can use some scissors to pinch, and you can use some not a knife, to, like a sharp knife to pinch it. It's typically, uh, typically you'd be using a knife or some scissors if you wanted to keep the citrosa cutting. But if you want to see a video on that, we can always make a video for that. But right now we are going to be concentrating on pinching the head out of the citrosa. We're going to start with the head, the anatomy of this plant. We're going to start with the head, which is this leaf coming out of the top. So it's typically where it's going to keep growing out up. So this one only has one head as of right now. But when you pinch it out, you're going to pinch it, and then it's essentially like the hydra. So what's going to happen is if you pinch the head, multiple heads are going to come out, kind of like the hydra, essentially. Ooh. Multiple heads are going to come out. So typically, you have this, the main stalk, which is what's going to grow up and around and about, and it's going to keep going unless you take out the head, and then it will stop there and you'll get other heads popping out from the shoots, which is right here. If you can see, this is a shoot. Uh, this is a shoot. So typically they come out where all these leaves come out. So I had a couple leaves fall off. So there's this elbow that you can see. There's the one and then there's this one if you can see that but yes then we have the stems and last but not least the leaves that collect the sunlight so that this thing can grow and the roots of course now the theory when you cut or pinch below this head the plants will produce stems or heads from the shoots so the shoots are going to turn into the head so you're going to pinch out the head and you're going to have the multiple shoots that turn into multiple heads. So now it's becoming bushier. It's going to fill out. So uh, to make a bushy plant, you want to cut low, close to a stem, because you're going to have, like if you don't cut close to a, a leaf, you're going to have this brown spot i don't know yeah so there's this brown spot so the higher if there's no leaf then what's going to happen is that's going to turn brown and you can cut it off later so it's no big deal but you want to be closer to a leaf so then it's not as big of a brown stem as you had before it's not as big as a brown stem that you'll have to cut off or you will see it like so the closer you are to a leaf the less brown you have, brown you have right so um 
For young plants with one head, you want four to five good leaves and about an inch of the stem left because like the first time I cut this plant, I cut it here. That gives it about an inch and there was four good leaves. Nope, oh, this one had, yeah, this one had four or five good leaves from where I pinched it and then it branched out and then there's more main stalks coming out that are thicker and stronger. Because if you typically cut near the top of this plant, this is going to be spindly. It's going to be, if you want to put in a hanger, you're going to have a very weak stem and it's going to like fall over and you don't want that. So if you do the lower, if you cut lower, the better. So typically an inch and you want at least four to five good leaves on here. I'm pretending this one's good. But if you have one at home like this, do not count that as a good leaf. Okay? But I'm only doing it because I lost a lot of leaves because I forgot to water my plant. But that's okay. Uh, this will probably live. And if it doesn't, I, I can let you know <laughs> it didn't live. I, I can leave in the messages if at the bottom of this video if it lived in about two to three weeks. Um, I could take a picture probably, I don't know. Um, so the procedure, uh, the procedure is you just cut straight across. There's no point in doing an angle or anything, but like I typically just cut straight across. Nothing is wrong with it. And I usually do it right about, and you can want to leave an inch. So this is about an inch and remember if you cut high you can always cut off the excess the excess like brown stem is fine but this is where I'm going to typically cut and the deed is done. This is the head. It is out and we can go plant this later but as I said, I will do a video on how to do that if there's any interest. So, uh, you keep pinching it till you get to the achieved bushiness level that you would like. I typically will keep going. I love to see how bushy these things can get. So, like this one, there is a head here. I will cut that one off as well, probably right here, because you don't need to leave, like I'm leaving the typical inch and the four leaves, and I'd be cutting it right here as well, right by this leaf, and then the shoot will come out here, and the shoot will come out here, because those are the little elbows, right? Little elbows I'm talking about. As you can see, I pinched, um, Let's see, I pinched here, that brown thing. We go with the brown thing as our point. As you can see, there's like a branch that came out here. And then there's this brown one over here. And the two heads came out right here, right beside each other. But yeah, it keeps getting bushier and bushier and bushier. This one is um, probably like three weeks before this one or after this one. So this one was first, this one was after, like three weeks after. And I'm probably going to take out this head right here, as you can see right here. This is a nice head. I'll probably pinch this out right here. And then it'll grow a shoot from a shoot in here. So it will keep growing. It'll keep going. These things are very forgiving plants. They're like a weed. They'll keep growing. Don't worry about them. They typically don't like a lot of water, so I water mine about once every other week. And that is the video on how to pinch out a head of a citrosa cutting. I hope you enjoyed.